Hello, Irene Smith here, and welcome to the anniversary episode of Irene Plays. We've been doing this for a whole year, believe it or not. We started with only five subscribers. We're up over 130 now, and I hope that we will continue to grow. Enjoy today's video. After all, it was a year in the making. Let's get started. Have you ever heard the saying about returning to the scene of the crime? Well, today, in a way, we're doing just that. Hey folks, Allie here. And before we get too far into this video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, like this video, share it with your friends, and make comments. All those things help other people see this channel. So thank you very much. This is the property that I flipped in my first video. And my first video was published one year ago, today. So I thought just for the fun of it that I would go back to that property and do a different flip on the same house and try to make it different, completely different. All you have to do is point and click. I don't have to carry garbage bags to the trash can or... And I really like so many of the things in House Flipper 2 better than House Flipper 1. I love the way I can do walls. I love being able to build half walls and weird walls if I wanted to. What I don't like is having to carry garbage. It's too real. There's other things that I would like to see more real. And I'm not going to go into details because I really don't want to trash the game. I love House Flipper 2. I love House Flipper 1. I mean, I've been playing this game... House Flipper 1, since uh, I'm pretty sure it was n fairly new when I, when I bought it for myself. So I've been playing it for uh, like six years. And I'm not bored with it. Okay. I'm just doing the rough garbage and dirt cleanup right now. I'm not trying to make any decisions about rooms, about what needs to be changed and what doesn't. Now, this is, as I said, the uninhabited house. There's a similar property called the abandoned house, but I want to stick with this one. Now, this actually isn't a bad layout on this house. I think we might be able to leave it as it is. Windows are all dirty. Oh, let's see what upstairs is like. I remember this house. I've done it more than once. In fact, when I look at my list of properties that I've done in videos, I've done this one twice already. So, it's funny, there are a couple things about this house that sort of remind me of the Samarta Myers house, as far as the layout. That bedroom and, well, it doesn't matter, because they are just different enough. So, well, first of all, we're going to have to decide what this room is going to be here. Should it still be a storage room or should I turn it into a sewing room or a, a exercise room? I'm not sure. Let's see what this is. I think it was a, yep. That's exactly what I was expecting was a children's room. 
I'll tell you, there's one thing about House Flipper 2 that I do not miss from House Flipper 1, and that's having to plaster. Because I don't think they ever really corrected it. Uh, in House Flipper 1, if you... Oh, in a bathroom. If you uh, had to plaster walls, and then you went and you looked into the room from outside the wall plaster would still show even if you painted over it so this is this house it's, it's actually a very nice house and maybe we should leave this as a children's room but we are going to have to plaster the walls here we're going to have to clean all of the windows. And once we've done that, then we can worry about how we're going to proceed. So I'm going to pause and go through and clean everything. Probably get rid of a lot of the furniture. And then we will come back. I should actually go and look at my original video and see how I handled it there. But I thought this would be an interesting anniversary topic. How about, oh, there is no window here. Okay. I don't know. I sort of like this bathroom. I sort of don't like this bathroom. But here is a compliment for House Flipper 2. I love the fact that you don't have to install sinks and tubs and bath uh, toilets. That you could just put them down. And, you know, they don't make you install the stove. So I don't see why it's a lot easier to lay out a bathroom if you can, if you make a mistake, you can just move it. So that is definitely a house slipper two over house slipper one thing. So let's. I. Let me go and finish everything, and then I will be back, and we will figure things out. Okay, we got a spot here where the wrap... Really don't like that. That never used to happen. Got a spot here where the uh, garbage can was before we got rid of it. Want to cover it over. Yeah, we can cover this up too. I know I didn't really need to have the extra wide, but it's covered that way. We're really coming along here. Now, I've replaced the front walk. I had to fill in with a little gravel here because it won't let me do one that goes under the fence. Even though the houses that you get have, the, in fact, the, the square that was there before actually went under the fence. but. Whatever. It's not like I expect that they'll ever fix that. We've done some stuff here. I turned the garage into what's going to be a family room. And 
this is still a room. I haven't decided what to do with it yet. This is what used to look like a little sitting room. I think I may turn this into an office. Or we could have an extra bedroom. That wouldn't be a bad thing either. Should probably replace the windows so they match those. Then down here, um, I did put in a bathroom. Yeah, green again. <clears throat> oh well. Anyway, I haven't finished decorating in there yet. This is going to be the kitchen. I'm wondering if... Hmm, just a thought. Never mind. Okay, so this is going to be the kitchen. And then upstairs. I like this open plan, by the way. I like the fact that that's just open. I think it looks nice. I think that it makes the house welcoming. This is going to be a craft room, I think. This was a bedroom, and it probably still will be a bedroom. I put the one of the new pop art mirrors here. This was a children's bedroom, a baby's bedroom, actually. And I'm not sure, should I make it a separate adult's bedroom? bedroom or a child's room. I haven't decided yet. It could go either way right now. Then across here is the bathroom, which I completely redid. And I use a lot of turquoise. It just felt right. And by the way, this mirror is... We don't need that notice how it comes on and off which is really cool until you find out that actually you hear it go on I don't know if you can hear that in the recording anyhow and and mainly I don't know if you can hear it in the recording because it's hot enough today that uh, I've got the air conditioner on and I don't know how much background noise it's going to make but so this could be a bedroom, or I don't know. I I noticed that Miss Lips Lipston there is is at the top of the list, and she only wants one bedroom. We'll see. I'll be back. So I have turned the children's bedroom into a home office. We've got, of course, the game doesn't think it's a home office because there are two bookcases. And because I didn't use an office desk or an office chair and so on and so on. But this is an office. I mean, seriously. What else would it be? I have also, and I've also sort of tried to use some of the new pop art furniture. I'm not crazy about all of it, but I do like a lot of it. This is going to be a bedroom. I don't know what this is going to be. It's certainly not going to be a bathroom because we already have a full bathroom up here. And we actually have a half bath downstairs, which I may take out. I don't know. We'll see. So far, I'm satisfied with the changes I made. In this room, we've got an accent wall with the Monstera leaves. We've got a nice big comfy sofa, a couple of bookcases. And these are for the pop art set. I don't know why it's been popping around a lot today. 
Okay, so this room is still needs to have something in it. I'm not sure what I want here. I don't think I need that anymore. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, this door is the single door version of this door. Oh, we've got another one over here, too. Anyhow, I have to figure out what to do with this room. I mean, we could start putting bedrooms in and we could have a whole bunch of bedrooms in this house, but I don't want to do that because my top person right now is uh, Veronica. And um, although I'm not necessarily crazy about her, character. Uh, we need to do something with this room, too. Oh, boy. This house has too many rooms. Maybe this could be a dining room. We could break down the wall between this and the kitchen and have an archway between. I'll think about that. Be right back. I keep saying that. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You won't even notice the difference. So, there is that. Well, we're getting there, slowly but surely. And I've replaced the sidewalk, the entry sidewalk. I've redone most of these floors, I believe. Working on the kitchen. This used to be the garage, and I've turned it into a big uh, entertainment space. I think it needs more furniture here. It's pretty empty. I have no idea what this room is going to be. I suppose it could be... Well, it can't be a, an office because I've already put in an office upstairs. Although, hmm, that's a thought. Anyway. Why is that funny like that? That's weird. I don't remember seeing that before. Anyway, on this side of the door, we have this room, which I have broken down the wall between to lead into the kitchen. And actually, if you looked at who's at the top of the buyer's list, it's, uh, uh, there she is, Veronica Lipson. And she wants one and only one bedroom, one and only one bathroom. And we have two in this house. We have one upstairs, which is a full bathroom, and we have a half bath here. But I think for now, as I, I kind of want to sell to her this time. I don't remember who bought the house last time, and I don't know why that funny... Oh, well. So we've got lots of paintings here like she likes. Looks like dirt. No, not. As I said, we have to work on the kitchen. At the top of the stairs, we have this room, which I intend to turn into a crafting room. Because remember, like I said, she wants one and only one bedroom. This used to be a children's bedroom, but it is now her office. And if you notice, I've used a lot of that pop art furniture and pictures. We also have some painting, uh, paintings, plants here. And I have replaced all of the windows in the house with these param windows. I don't know, I just kind of like the way they look. Now, the one bathroom that I'm definitely going to keep, I may get rid of the second one, I may not. I, I can't decide. I keep going back and forth. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. No, why bother? She doesn't seem to mind. Um, but this is the main bathroom, and it includes a tub and a sink and a toilet. And if we turn around, there's, actually we need a picture for here. Um, if we turn around, 
you'll see that I put blinds on this particular window. But in this room, I'm going to put, I don't know what they'll call it. It'll be interesting to see what the game calls this room. But we want a sewing, oops, sewing machine. Which one do we want? I kind of like the old fashioned one. But we could use the newer ones, then we'd need a table. Or this vintage Singer sewing machine. My grandmother, when I was a little girl, actually had one of these. Um, I don't know which one I like better. I think maybe this one. My grandmother actually had a sewing machine like this. In fact, she had one that... Um, had the treadle. In other words, there was a flat plate in on the floor between the legs that you would actually pedal that to make the sewing machine go. Hers had been electrified, but the pedal was still there. Anyway, so now we've got a sewing machine. Let's go for Sewing clutter. And steel sewing scissors. We need a chair. I can't seem to stop yawning today, and I'm not tired. I got a good night's sleep. Office. We are currently having a uh, thunderstorm in this area, and I just got a notification that there's possible flooding. We'll see what happens. There's none of these that really looks like it fits with being on a, for a sewing machine. Truth feel, I, I, I would not want that one. Uh, although I think I used it in their office. Let's see what we can find here that might be comfortable and useful. Oh, let's go with that one. And since the walls in this room are pink, We'll make it pink, and we'll make it light bamboo. No. How about white wood? Is there white wood? There you go. All right, we have a light. No, we don't. And what do we want over here? Let's put an old-fashioned bookcase over here. And we're going to skip over all those this time. Not that there's anything really wrong with them, but... I want something a little less modern looking, actually. All right, let's try putting in a 
Actually, I kind of like the basket ones. Go with white wood for the whole thing. And we'll make the drawer. No. Make the drawer dark, just for contrast. I think that sounds like fun. Goodness gracious. And we'll actually put two of them here. So like that. Okay, what is this room considered? A storeroom. Why not? Okay, this was going to be our bedroom. And I was sort of thinking of breaking this through to the other room. Hmm. I'll be right back. So we're done here. I'm going to go through the house one more time and then we are going to sell. You can probably guess what kind of garden I am going for in this house. Um, what do I ever do but the British garden? I know this is sort of a fall looking plant. A tree, but uh, I just thought it was pretty. We've got a gazebo here. You say gazebo, I say gazebo. We've got a little koi pond over here. Actually, this is the larger of the two koi ponds. Lots and lots of roses, lots and lots of vines. And speaking of vines, on the front of this house, those you cannot sell them you cannot select them you cannot buy it, anything that looks like that it's just there and I, I don't mind that I can't sell it but it would be cool if I could put some more cover the whole front of the house in those vines anyway let's do a quick tour through the house this is the living room you see there's a big TV on the wall, comfy couch with a coffee table, a couple of armchairs, some bookcases. This is not intended to be a family room because, as I have mentioned multiple times during this video, uh, our top buyer here is Veronica, and she doesn't like children's things. She doesn't like more than one bedroom. She doesn't like more, th more than one bathroom. This is the finished kitchen. I put up my friend's poster. And actually, I should have... Oh, well. I'm going to leave it there. This is the bath uh, bathroom. This is the kitchen. And as I said I was going to do, I broke down the wall between... The kitchen and what looked like a um, sitting room <clears throat> and I turned what was a sitting room into a dining room and yes the game recognizes that fact now let's go back this is could have been the second living room or something like that this is the and by the way, lots of paintings, lots of photographs, because that's what she likes. But I put in a foosball table and a bar. So this is sort of an entertainment room. Now let's go upstairs. And as I said earlier in this video, I really like this open plan here. This is our sewing room, some bookcases, and actually at night, oh goodness, it would be really dark in here, would it not? So let's fix that. 
lights, ceiling lamps. Um, of course, if this was real life, we'd be wanting to make sure we picked a light that didn't change the way things looked. But for now, I'm just going to do this. There we go. Good light. And this is the bedroom. <clears throat> and as I mentioned that I might do, I actually replaced the uh, door. The well, Actually, there was no door here. I actually broke through the wall and I used the wardrobe doors to separate the two rooms. By the way, these are from the pop art set, these lights. Different. And through here we have the office, which you've already seen. And here's the coffee maker that goes with that picture. My friend Malsey gave me that picture, the poster. Uh, coffee is a hug in a mug. And another photograph. This you've seen at least three times. Our lovely little turquoise bathroom. So that's pretty much it. Um, I can't think of anything I haven't shown you. I really like the way this came out, actually. Oh, and still yawning. How exciting, right? Okay, so we're pretty much done here, and we are going to go outside. We are going to, and actually, I'm going to just double check and make sure that I'm getting sound today, because it would really kind of be a pain if I went to finish this off and it was silent. So let me just double check, and then we'll finish this. Okay, we are ready to sell. And and by the way, if it seemed that I was uh, repeating myself here and there during this video, it's because I actually recorded it over several days' time. So I tried to remove those duplicates, but I may have missed one or two. Notice, by the way, these fountains, which I didn't point out before. So let's enter the garden competition. We want the English garden. I've been calling it a British garden all the way along. I can live with that. 45% increase in the value of the property. That's fine. I mean, it could have been 50%, but I can live with that. All right, so now we want to um, put it on auction. Are we ready? Well, I guess. It's interesting how many of these buyers like one bedroom. So she's offered me 193118 which would, oh, nice. So should we hit her up for a little bit more or not? Let's see. I'm really kind of tempted. Yeah. We'll take it. So... Tomorrow, we're going to be doing the house after the flood. And um, I have a little sneak peek of that. So let's accept her offer. I honestly did not expect this video to be as long as it is.
garden looks pretty good. I also like the stone that I put on the house where it was brick. I, I made it into a stone finish and I think it looks really great. So that's it for this one. Come back tomorrow for the next one. So if we're doing the first video that I did, uh, what are we doing here? Well, this is the location of the second flip that I did on my channel. And I'm going to um, do that one as well. This is going to be multiple episodes. Whoa! What? What's wrong? Merck, you're here! Yeah, we're all here. What's going on? I was just working on my anniversary episode. <gasps> wow, and, and nobody told us. Well, in honor of the channel's anniversary, I decided to redo the first three houses that I flipped. Wow. This is the second. Wow. It's called House After the Flood, and you can see it is a mess. Uh, yeah, the best part? What? We got Matthew sending it on a video. Yay! Oh, it, it doesn't wash off either. Hmm. I uh, wonder what we're supposed to do. Plaster. Yeah, I think so, unfortunately. Somewhere. Anyhow, so this is the house. Mm. This is the house of the second video that I that oh, I flipped yeah. for the second video. And again, oh, yes. it's all going to have to be plastered. I don't like the plastering. I don't either. And the main reason I don't like the plastering is that if you plaster stuff, yes. when you come back, if you look in through the window, it yeah. still shows. That's weird. But, hey, you know. You know what I don't like about it? What? The only thing I don't like about it is because every single wall has to be individually plastered. Yeah, each chunk, you're right. Each chunk of the wall has to be plastered. You're absolutely correct. Except for the whole wall. And what a mess. Uh, even by flood standards, it's a mess. Yep. By the way, did you hear there was supposed to be a flood here today? I heard a rumor about that. I would say a little birdie told me, but I don't talk to birds. Why not? Uh... What do you have against birds? All they, have, they all do is go tweet, tweet, tweet. They don't understand what they're saying. I wish I did, though. Well, maybe I they're, to. you know, rock and robins. Maybe. <laughs> I'll call. Okay. Um, um, um. Oh, at least you got it. Yeah. Uh, mm. It would be awful if you had missed that one. Yeah, you know, he's my dog, so he has heard too much of Michael Jackson's music. I've heard all of it. I've heard every album. Every single one. Every single Repeatedly. one. Repeatedly. Repeatedly on end. So that's where we're headed. Mm. We're going to do this one. Uh, oh, and you want to see what was the third house? Yeah, what is the third house? Go out. Oops. No, that's not outside. That's, that's outside. outside. So this is the uh, house after the flood. Yeah. The next one that we have to go to. Is the burned house. Oh, I remember this house. There's ash on the ceiling, on the floor, everywhere. Yeah, I think you end up having to do some plastering there, too. No, you don't, actually. No? You could wash it away? Yes, it just washed away. Oh, that's we good. We know because we played with the house multiple times. So this is the burned house. And again, we've got quite a bit of mess. Yeah. Look at all those. What, what is all that stuff? Uh, I have no idea. Ashes? Maybe. Well, I meant the, the like, what, 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 what look like pizza boxes. Mm. I think that's what it's supposed to be, is pizza boxes. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we should probably go. Not because we don't love you, but because we, we, we want to have lunch. You know? Oh, I, I'd love to have some lunch myself. Oh, well, hey, after this video, you will. Yay! Yay. Oh, wow, this oh, is really uh, I can't mess. forget, we have yeah. to say, every time we come in, we always say... What do say we have it. to say? Well, first of all, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you think your friends would like this video, share it with them. And Matthew, you know the rest. That's right. If you think that your friends would like this channel, share that with them as well. And if you like it, subscribe. Hmm. Thank you very much. But what do we always have to say. Lunchtime is the best time?
Oh, well, that's true. But chocolate, chocolate for, for Merck. Merck. And chocolate, chocolate for, for Allie. Allie. That's it. That's it. Yay, we did it. One year. One whole year. We One whole year. year. You know, she's been doing the videos a whole year. We haven't been in her videos all When did year. you start doing it? Hmm. That's we'll have to question. figure that out sometime. That's a legal question. Some other then time. we can celebrate the anniversary of that. Yeah, legal question. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. I don't know either. That was stupid. Legal question. Yeah, you care. Call Mark. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we will do these flea... Ha oh, goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we will do these three houses. We're going to flip them. We're going to uh, sell them. And then we'll go on from there. This is the Irene Plays Anniversary Special, after all. See if I can clean this floor. No. Is there any other way? Hmm. I guess we'll have to just redo the floor. Anyhow, we shall return. Well, at least that went away. Okay. Have fun. So, that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be doing the House After the Flood, and on Friday we will be doing the Burned House. I hope you will be here and, and join me, and I will see you again tomorrow.